All right, this is gonna be my tutorial on the volume of cylinders, cones, and spheres. Um, hopefully I've already gone over the formula with you guys. But let's go ahead and let's start with the cylinders. The formula for the volume of the cylinder is gonna be pi times the radius squared times the height. And remember, it's basically the area of a circle, which is the base, times the height. And that's why it's derived, that's why it's pi r squared times the height. The next, um, type of three-dimensional figure in the exam is the cone. And the cone, if you recall, is one-third of a cylinder. And so the formula is gonna be one-third times pi times the radius squared times the height. And last but not least, the spheres. And if you recall, the spheres, the volume is gonna be, it's, it's two-thirds of a cylinder. But you have to remember that a sphere doesn't have a height. And then it does not have a height, but we do use the diameter of the sphere as the height. And so the diameter is two times the radius. And so if you substitute the height with 2r for the, 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 the diameter for the height, you end up with the formula for the volume of a sphere, which is 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. And a lot of kids forget the cube, then they put square, so you need to be careful. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the first problem. All right, first things first is you wanna write the formula down. This is a cylinder for the formula is gonna be the volume equals pi times the radius squared times the height. So I already went ahead and wrote down pi and we wanna figure out the radius. Do they give us the radius here? Yes, they do. And so the radius is six. So we're gonna use six squared and then the height is seven and five tenths. And so we need to do the exponent first. Remember, the exponents comes first before multiplication in the order of operations. Now, you're going to be able to use a calculator, um, but you're going to multiply 6 times 6 and multiply by 7 and 5 tenths. Now, if I were to ask you guys to solve this in terms of pi, you would just leave pi as pi and not use 3.14. But because I told you guys to use 3.14, you're going to multiply 270 times 3.14 and that's going to give you the volume of 847 and 8 tenths rounded to the nearest tenth. And don't forget your units. Really, you're multiplying mile times mile times a mile. And that's where you end up with miles cubed. Now, the next problems I'm going to show you guys, I'm not going to answer them in terms of pi. But be, please be aware because you will be asked. All right, here's another cylinder. First things first, write the formula, which is the volume equals pi times the radius squared times the height. And let's go ahead and substitute. So we know that we're going to use 3.14 for pi. And so now we got to figure out the radius. Now, in this case, I did not give you the radius. I gave you the diameter. And so you have to remember that the diameter is 2 times the radius. So we divide it by 2. And that's where we end up with 1 and 5 tenths. And the radius, you need to square it. And then the height is going to be 7 and 5 tenths. Um, now you get to use the calculator, but again, if you use the calculator, make sure you do the exponents first. So on your calculator, you're going to do 1 and 5 tenths times 1 and 5 tenths, which is 2 and 25 hundredths. And then you're going to multiply it by 7 and 5 tenths and 3 and 14 hundredths for pi. And that's going to give you 53 and 0 tenths when you round it. That's rounded to the nearest tenth. And then don't forget your units, which is inches square. So the volume is 530 inches square, but it should actually be cubed. So let me go ahead and fix that. Well, that's a three. All right, next. Here we got a cone. And so the formula for the volume of cone, if you remember, it's one third of the cylinder. So it's one third times pi times the radius squared times the height. And so let's go ahead and substitute. We know pi is 3.14 because I tell you use that. The radius, I gave you the radius, and that's five, and you're gonna square it. And then the height is seven centimeters. And again, you get to use a calculator, but don't forget to round to the nearest tenth in this case. So here, you're gonna do on your calculator five square, which is five times five. You're gonna multiply it by 3.14, then by seven. And then, because the numerator is one, you don't have to multiply by anything. But if there is a numerator, you would multiply it, and then you're gonna divide by three. And then you're going to round to the nearest tenth, and you end up getting the volume is 183 and two tenths centimeters cubed. All right, let's take a look at the next problem. Here is another 
cone. And the formula is the volume equals one third times pi times the radius squared times the height. So let's go ahead and substitute. We know pi is 3.14. Now the radius, I don't give you the radius, I give you the diameter here, so you need to be careful. And so you need to square the radius, which is half of eight. And that's where I end up with four square. And then you multiply by the height, which is 11. You get to use the calculator on this standard. So you're going to multiply 4 times 4, which is 4 squared, multiply by 11, multiply by 3.14, and then divide by 3. You don't have to multiply by 1, and then round to the nearest tenth. And that's going to give us a volume of 184 and 2 tenths kilometers cubed. All right, let's take a look at a sphere. Now the sphere, if you remember, it's a little complicated formula, but not really. It's going to be 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. Now, it is not radius square because, remember, the height is the diameter, which is 2 times the radius. And you should have watched that video before. I should have explained it to, to you in class. And so we're going to go ahead and substitute. We're going to use 4 thirds times pi. And do I give you the radius? Yes, I do. And the radius is 6 meters, so we're going to take the 6 and cube it. Again, you can use a calculator on this standard. You want to do 6 cubed, which is 6 times 6 times 6. You're going to multiply it by 3.14, and because we have a numerator of 4, you're going to have to multiply by 4, and then divide by 3. And you want to round to the nearest tenth, and you end up with 904 and 3 tenths meters cubed. Now again, if you use a calculator, you should do it twice to confirm your answers, because sometimes we end up hitting the wrong button. Alright, last example here. Another sphere. Write down the formula. The volume is 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. So we're going to multiply 4 thirds times 3 and 1400, 3.14, and then the radius. Do I give you the radius here? No, I give you the diameter. And so to figure out the radius, we need to take half of 9, and so that ends up being 4 and 5 tenths. And we cube it in this case. We don't square it, we cube it because it's a different formula. And use your calculator. You're going to do 4 and 5 tenths cubed. And so you're going to multiply 4 and 5 tenths times 4 and 5 tenths times 4 and 5 tenths. Multiply by 3.14, multiply by the numerator, which is 4, and then divide by 3, which is the denominator, and round to the nearest tenth. And you're going to end up with the volume is equal to 381 and 5 tenths meters cubed. And that's the tutorial for uh, finding the volume of sphere, cylinder, and a cone. Thank you for watching.